welcome to another update on my garden. I have no idea what week it is. I'm so lost. It's hot, so excuse me. So today we're tilling up the spot that I have had the plastic on for a couple of weeks to get that started because I really need to get in some green beans and potatoes and all those things I expected to put over there and the tomato. And excuse the wind, it's always windy when I go to videotapes. Seriously, it's like calms all the time. And then as soon as you get the camera out, of course, it starts blowing like crazy. Anyway, so I'm going to show you my garden and then I'm going to take you along as I pick my spinach. I have some spinach that's ready from my garden box. And I show you that. So let's get started. <laughs> garden for the day. Of course now it's windy. It wasn't windy till I got here but didn't do a whole lot on this side but a lot more it's up. So now I started weeding on the front on this one you can see there. Most things are up now so I can actually go through each individual row at least halfway down there and weed that next time I come. Hopefully. I always say hopefully because it doesn't always work out how I want. And if you can see all the way around this side, around the edges, you can see that I had my son till all the way around with a little tiller. I'll show you that later when we go past it. And the tomatoes are still doing good. And the strawberries, my mom actually found a few strawberries. This is my corn that I planted, I think it was last week. It's already up, I don't know if you can see that. But I'm so excited because there's, I think it's 22 or 24 rows of corn. And then that there is the black plastic that was over there. And I can see we have um, my uprights up there for the green beans and I put my cucumbers and my sweet potatoes and I'm trying to think, oh, I put squash and stuff over there. I put some, that black plastic was what was at the end over there before I just switched it because the, and I can see that I forgot to put something on this end. I'll have to go get something to put on this end to keep it. The plastic, I'm trying to kill out that horrible grass. But as you can see, finally got this section done. I've been waiting to do this section so I can finish up. But I can show you this. I didn't plant anything in it yet, but I put these are posts with I think this is corn curb panels. Not exactly sure what everybody else calls it, but that's what I call it. I grew up on a farm and that's part of a corn crib. But there's this open section. This is gonna be hopefully the potatoes and I think whatever else I saw left, I don't remember. And that piece of plastic back there is going to be my tomatoes so that's why that's there i haven't put anything in there i just put it down today so i really just have this spot that i'll have to till up before i can plant in it probably unless i'm faster than i think i'm going to be this week which yeah probably not gonna happen but anyway i'm just excited to get this plastic moved over here because this was even though it got tilled it kept getting weedy but as you can see, the strawberries are blooming. 
my mom, I think I told you my mom actually found some orange ones. And we need to do a little bit more weeding. Got some done, but see? I hope you can see the tomatoes. Okay, the strawberries. Can you see them? Not the red ones yet, but they're coming. And these are the raspberries that I moved like two weeks ago or something like that. So they're coming. These are the, the ones in the middle are the thornless ones that a friend gave me. And I'm excited to see those because anything without thorns sounds like an awesome thing for me. It's going to show you a little bit over here. Some things are up, but not everything. This is my mom's garden. She can tell you about that. <laughs> but this is, it's a called asparagus beans. I've never heard of it before. And the weird thing was, I planted two rows. Notice only one grew. I don't understand what happened there. Uh, guess I'm planting something else there. And then this is the row of peas. A row of peas. Most of them came up. And some radishes. I don't remember what the other thing was that I planted in there. I don't think it's up yet, or if it is, I don't remember. Oh, nope, it's spinach. I can see it. need to go through this with the tiller. And I don't really remember what's in here. It almost looks like beans, but not all of them came up. I'm not sure what this is either. Oh, this one's peas too. I just sometimes I can't see till I actually get it. This one's like lettuce and beets. These are the peas that I did with the plugs. They look amazing. I'm going to have to get a... We're gonna have to get something in there to put for the peas to crawl up probably next week. No, they don't need it this week. This is the squash and some flowers. Some more squash and some flowers. Some, I believe there's more squash, yep, and flowers. And then this is onions and then I have daffodils in here. And then, I don't remember which cold crop is in here, but there's one in here. I don't know. It's hard to tell exactly where they are in the onions. Another cold crop in the onions. Actually, I believe that one is kale. This one, either kale or broccoli. One of the one of each. And then this one is cabbage and onions. And this one should be cauliflower and onions. I don't exactly remember what's in here. Some carrots probably. Yep, carrots. Hmm can't really tell what the other one is. After I weed it, I'll be able to tell. But this is where it's finally getting to the point where I can tell what's a weed and what's not. So I can actually pull weeds and be productive instead of pulling everything. <laughs> There's some more. Looks like maybe kohlrabi and radishes or something. Usually put radishes in with carrots, so. And it's probably more of the same. And this is, I can see some lettuce in there with probably two different kinds of lettuce that's what it is and then this one is peas and sunflowers you can see the sunflowers i don't know where the peas went <laughs> they're in there i can see a few down there so we'll have to see what i will do is if, when the peas are done i will usually put something else in there i don't know if it's got a sunflowers i may just put some pole beans or something in there because the three sisters like each other i don't know but we'll see I'm planning on putting the pumpkins in with the corn. Um, the pumpkins are ready. I just didn't bring them today because I knew trying to get all that done over there, I just was I was going to be too tired to do anymore. So that was kind of the decision that was made. You can tell it stormed last week. I knocked on all my markers. So I'm going to have to pick those up and plant them back in there. Okay, so I keep talking about this little hand tiller thing that I have that I use in the garden. I've been told this is my grandma's, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm just assuming that it is, but it works really nice. You push it and then it tills up the weeds. And this, actually this one, I don't know if you can tell, it's got like little tiny things on it. So that works really good if you have to till up quite a bit, but most of the time I do this. I flip it. And then I just run, just to get the little tiny little weeds up, I till through that and it works so nice. That's why I have actual rows over there. <laughs> and that's what I'll do with this. And then I weed in between the rows maybe once or twice and that's it because this works. 
nicely along with mulch. But anyway, I kept forgetting that I didn't show you. So I wanted to make sure I got, got to show you this time. It's a really neat little thing. I like it. Glad it's part of the garden to gardening tools. And just in time, because I'm out of my garden markers, my dad brought me a whole big pile of them. Woohoo! We'll see how long they last for my other section. So that's my garden tour for today. Thanks for tagging along, and I'll see you next time.